Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the brand new Foundations metagame. Today we're taking a look at a black-white infinite life gain combo deck featuring the combo of Enduring Tenacity, saying whenever we gain life a target opponent loses that much life, alongside a Bloodthirsty Conqueror from Foundations, a 5-5 Flying Death Touch, saying whenever an opponent loses life we gain that much life. So with both of these creatures in play at the same time, if we either gain life or the opponent loses life, it will set off this infinite chain of events where Conqueror triggers, in turn enabling the Enduring Tenacity, which in turn enables Bloodthirsty Conquer, Rinse and Repeat, and that's infinite damage and infinite life gain to win the game on the spot. Now, of course, a 5-5 creature is a little bit easier for the opponent to interact with, as opposed to maybe an enchantment, as we see Exquisite Blood in a lot of other formats enabling the same types of shenanigans, but at least Enduring Tenacity, if it gets removed, will come back in the form of an enchantment, so our opponent will need to exile it if they want to get rid of it for good, or maybe destroy it twice once it's an enchantment as well, which is asking a lot of them. So that's our two-card combo, and then there's a few ways you can incorporate this in your black-white life gain decks. I chose for a much more controlling build than you might be used to, could also play it in a black-white bat life gain deck or angel life gain deck, but by playing it in a more controlling deck we are naturally going to be playing longer games, which gives us more opportunities to assemble the combo in the first place, so we get to see it in action plenty of times. And then uh, taking a look at the rest of our deck, we've got a few nice reprints with authority of the consoles and enchantment saying creatures your opponent's control enter tapped, and whenever a creature an opponent controls enters we also gain one life, so great against all the hasty creatures out of the various red decks, and it's also a way to maybe gain life, so should we have both tenacity and conquer, but maybe are unable to damage the opponent, then the consoles is still a way to maybe gain life if the opponent enables it to set off our infinite combo, although of course it requires the opponent to cooperate with it as well. And then at 2 mana we're also playing Maze Mind Tome, another reprint and standard from Foundations. Can tap it to scry 1 or can pay 2 mana tap it and draw a card, each time putting a page counter on it. And once there are 4 or more page counters we exile Maze Mind Tome and gain 4 life, which is perfect as another way to maybe kickstart the combo in case maybe our Conqueror has Summoning Sickness and we can't attack with Enduring Tenacity to hit the opponent. And then it's also more card advantage alongside Phyrexian Arena, which has been in standard for a while but also reprinted in Foundations, drawing us an extra card each turn at the cost of one life, and we can easily offset the life loss with some of our effects like Authority, Maze Mind Tome, and then a four copies of Union of the Third Path, another great card against all the burn decks that have been popping up as we get to draw a card and gain life equal to the number of cards in our hand, also just very deadly in combination with one or more copies of Enduring Tenacity as we can turn all that life gain into damage. And then we've got a bit more spot removal, two copies of Get Lost as a way to maybe also hit Planeswalkers and Enchantments, and then a Go for the Throat doesn't have the drawback of giving the opponent any map tokens. One copy of the Iron Crag, because we are trying to cast some 4 and 5 mana spells, so occasionally having a bit of ramp can be nice. Also pretty good alongside Maze Mind Tome, as we can play a turn to Iron Crag and then turn 3 Tome plus draw a card with it right away. And then a Virtue of Persistence gives us some 2 mana removal that also gains life, and then later the enchantment can also be a way of getting back the Bloodthirsty Conqueror in the grindier matchups. And then a 4 copies of a Day of Judgment, another very nice reprint and foundations, destroying all creatures, so that's our sweeper of choice at 4 mana. Also because we don't want to be playing Sunfall alongside Enduring Tenacity, since we want to avoid exiling it. So Day of Judgment is a perfect solution, helping stave off all the aggressive creature decks in the format. And then a mana base is playing four copies of Shadowy Backstreet to surveil, maybe help dig towards the combo pieces or whatever else we need. And then four caves of Koilos being untapped is pretty important in the later turns, so only playing two copies of Concealed Courtyard, even though it's nice early to allow us to play either Authority or Cutdown on turn one, but drawing it later can be a bit of a liability. And then a Fabled Passage can also help fix our colors, and later in the game will also be untapped, fetching either six swamps or five planes. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play. Double Authority, double Conqueror. There's a bit of a gap in our curve here, but hopefully Bankstreet can help find whatever we're missing. So I'll try. And especially against a red aggro, this is a nice start. Planes first, turn two we can go Backstreet plus another Authority. Facing planes and a bat, so it's a life gain deck. And Union seems fine. That's just a way to spend my mana, draw a card next turn. 
and SS Channeler will immediately grow. Double Authority will stem the bleeding. Could also cut down the Channeler now before it gets any bigger. Yeah, that seems reasonable. They still get to move one counter. And another Rune Lurker. So those will also get to scry one end of turn. If I'm gonna miss my land drop, I'll main phase union. Now I can probably wait, or maybe cast it before playing land, so I gain one more life. Okay. So, Enduring Tenacity would be a good draw, maybe a Wrath of God in the meantime, as Deep Cavern Bats can have a look. I imagine taking a Get Lost. See, a Wrath of God would be one of our best draws. Any card draw engine would still be fine, since we've got a bit of life to work with. And then, of course, Enduring Tenacity. Alright, just gonna run out of Conqueror. The first one might die. But no removal end of turn, at least. So yeah, just an Enduring Tenacity away from the combo, but our opponent did have a Sheltered by Ghosts to answer the first one. So Wrath of God just keeps getting better and better if we can top deck it. Still probably forced to play Conqueror. And I'll hang on to the land in case we draw another Union. I'll gain one more life. Don't think the lands in play are gonna matter too much. Zoralan is next, can bring back the uh, Essence Channeler as well. But we're also gaining a lot of life, and they don't have any great attacks left. And I go for the throats. Alright, so now we have to have a look at the board. So I can attack with Conqueror. If that hits the opponent, it essentially gains 5 life. And then I can take out Ruin Lurker Bat in their turn as well to get another Conqueror back on defense. And of course we're happy if they triple block. Opponent's just jumping. Zorellan can return the Ruin Lurker, and now a Leyline of Hope to grow the team. Alright, fair enough. Still doesn't change the Go for the Throat line. Yeah, we had to wait on Go for the Throat to make sure they committed the Deep Cavern Bats, otherwise they would have kept that one back. But it of course did mean an extra Zorellan trigger. Take out Ruin Lurker. Pay the ward. Get a Conqueror back, which can now block Deep Cavern Bats. And get back or get lost, which I can cast on Zoralin. I guess we'll wait until end of turn so they don't get to use the map token. Could have also destroyed the Ley Line, but doesn't seem as important. Alright, Maze Mind Tome can play and draw. And there's Tenacity, so next turn we might get there. For now, attacking seems worthwhile, as we'll gain 20 life, basically. Back up to 32. And another Zorlin can now get back Deep Cavern Bat, perhaps. Although it's just a matter of time until we find another removal spell. Opponent's going for Sheltered by Ghosts instead, which also makes sense. So there's a bit of synergy here with Zorlin getting back their aura. Can clear one Conqueror. So now they have Vigilance. They can attack and then have a blocker back for my Conqueror. But as soon as their opponent plays another creature, it will trigger Authority, and eventually Maze Mind Tome can gain life as well. So yep, yeah, still kind of an interesting game here. 
So I'll just take my draw step. Could also scry. Phyrexian Arena. I wouldn't be able to play alongside Tenacity. Alright, draw one anyway. So play Tenacity. And I guess Channeler doesn't fly at the moment since they haven't lost any life. So yeah, we're actually clear to attack for the win. Awesome. Now Channeler flies, but it's too late. Yeah, I forgot about Channeler needing to have taken damage in order to fly. If they left, like, a pain land untapped, it might have been different. So yeah, it turns out that infinite life gain and life loss beats the traditional life gain deck. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a reasonable hand. Some interaction, tenacity, just waiting for the conqueror. And I'll start out by getting a swamp. So we have double black for tenacity or maybe a Phyrexian Arena. Opponent is on red aggro. Virtue, one of the better answers to a Heartfire Hero. As well shrink it down so we don't take any damage. So maybe it's fine to wait a turn on removing it and for now play a Maze Mind Tome. Get that going. Sure. Against the red aggro, we probably just want to scry as much as possible so we can gain four life as soon as we can. All right, now sheltered by ghosts. Kind of an unexpected twist. Can still destroy the enchantment itself with get lost. May as well scry on the way out. And caves, we can do better. So yeah, if I knew for a fact I was up against the enchantment deck, I might have... Just uh, removed the Heartfire Hero right away, or kept up removal. Although now Day of Judgment can clean it up. So, yeah, we'll just pass with Get Lost available. And then Day of Judgment should be able to clean up next turn already. Scavenger is fine. And the Demonic Ruckus is gonna resolve. So they will get to draw a card on the way out, plus deal six more damage. So yeah, we will be pretty low, but we should have the tools to stabilize from there. And get our Maze Mind Tome back. Put an upkeep stop so we can maybe scry again. And then starting next turn, we probably want to keep up some of our removal for haste creatures. Another Heartfire Hero we can Virtue. And a main phase Feather to play around removal. But still within range of a Virtue of Persistence, luckily. Union could be okay, although finding a land might be better. Yeah, we've got a bunch of life gain coming our way. Maybe it is fine to just take my draw step so we can draw for two mana, plus play Virtue. But still want to keep up Get Lost just in case. So don't take any damage. And Conquer is what we need. Okay, so we've got the combo assembled. Just need to watch out for another Sheltered by Ghosts disrupting it. Manifold Mouse without Offspring is interesting. Possible they have a protection spell left. So what's our play? Yeah, I could just draw and then tap out for Conquer, but Pwn might be presenting lethal next turn. If I remove it now and they protect it, we're also not in a better spot, so I kind of need to find a second removal spell. So I'll put an upkeep stop for now draw. And then do I scry, or do I just play Phyrexian Arena, keep up two mana? And then if they use their white to cast an aura to enhance Manifold Mouse, they may not have protection left. Find a land anyway. 
Although now I could also go for Tenacity, keep up two mana. So we at least work towards the combo while still keeping up interaction. Plus we also have a blocker now, which if it dies is fine, since we'll have Tome to gain life to kickstart the combo once we have both elements in play. Opponent just untaps. And a sheltered by ghost, so now the ghost is clear for get lost. And then next turn we should have it. Whether we attack with tenacity with conquer in play, or just uh, gain four life with the tomb. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand's not great without white mana. This is a bit more balanced. And then, what do we say no to? Might be the Iron Crag, which is not strictly necessary. Union's pretty good against aggro. Although, then again, ramping out a turn 4 Conquer is pretty good against aggro as well. So maybe Union can go. And then looking for Enduring Tenacity. There it is. Okay. Although Fabled Passage implies a slower deck, which will have interaction. But yeah, I guess uh, with Iron Crag we can technically set up the combo on turn 4 already. Opponent Grixis Colors. So yeah, let's see if they can either counter Tenacity or maybe they can exile it once it's in play. And a three steps ahead. Alright, so this is going to be a longer grindy game. And we are missing a card draw engine. So that's what we really want here. Still going to play the Conqueror. Also countered. At least I had to use hard counters, so those would have been able to answer anything. And now a Wish Colossus or Pun, maybe a combo deck. We can surveil. So if our opponent activates Talisman, it's possible they have ways to remove the Talisman once they gift it. Or they're just waiting for the right opportunity to immediately win the game. So yeah, opponent goes for it. Five mana left, so we get to untap. Well, I don't want to use Talisman if we don't have a way to immediately win the game off of it. Because then our opponent gets to wish a second time. And potentially assemble a two-card combo. Maze Mind Tome is what we wanted as well. And yeah, there it is. So the game continues. I'm sure they've got a bunch of removal in hand by now. So yeah, assembling the combo could be tricky. I see Greed Scambit, so it is a Demonic Pact type of deck. Well, there's a pretty fun interaction here. Get Lost destroying Greed Scambit. Means they will still have to discard three and sacrifice all bats. But I can wait for them to try and gift a Greed Scambit and then respond. Alright, so we'll play the Tome now. Can maybe draw main phase. Pass it back. Not worried about casting a Day of Judgment. Possible I need to keep Get Lost for Demonic Pact, as opposed to the Gambit. But yeah, the Gambit would be pretty annoying. Now they might be able to counter the Get Lost. 
All right, that's third, three steps ahead, gone. So now we're the ones controlling it, sadly. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to combo off, but not impossible. So Day of Judgment, clear the bats. And then I may as well be empty-handed for Greed's Gambit, so we just lose two life, and then Tome can draw in the opponent's turn. But yeah, we are on the clock here. Two life per turn, and we can't keep any creatures on the battlefield. Another Gambit. And we might see another Harmless Offering now too. And yeah, Talisman I can only use in my turn, otherwise I could have searched up another Get Lost. So that works. At least it doesn't straight up lose us the game like Demonic Pact. There's a Get Lost, so we were one card away. Union can gain some more life. And a Conqueror, which I'm not going to be able to keep in play. So what we need to be able to set up is have Enduring Tenacity in play, whether it's the enchantment or the creature doesn't matter. Then play Conquer and then immediately gain life with Maze Mind Tome to win the game. Uh, so if I Talisman now for Tenacity, play it. Yeah, so that might be the sequence we're aiming for. Using Wish Claw now feels like a mistake. So I might have to draw with Tome. Find another Conquer. Now Union, just to gain as much life as possible. And then... Discard Land plus Conquer. And then next turn can play Tenacity, play Conquer, and activate Talisman, and then Toe wins us the game. That is if our opponent's out of interaction here, which is possible if they have a bunch of Greed's Gambits in hand and Demonic Pacts, but if they have another Counterspell, this game is over. Take six. Is my tomb's fine. Bone's gonna keep up a bunch of mana, so that's not what we wanted to see here. Okay, um, any point in casting a get lost? Yeah, using get lost on Gambit also, of course, doesn't work. Since we would have to discard the Conqueror. So I don't think there's any chance we bait out removal by casting it. Alright, take my turn. So now we just have to go for it. Enduring Tenacity. Opponents thinking about it, so they must have their last three steps ahead. No? Alright, so now we'll see if they try and remove anything, but of course they could wait until the Greed's Gambit triggers are on the stack. And then now I need to try and gain life. And we'll see if they have any instant speed removal. If not, this is game over. Alright, opponent's gonna draw, or scry rather. So they're maybe looking for answers. Opponent draws. And gains four, that's fine. And wow, drew a go for the throat. That's unlucky. So yeah, opponent can successfully stave off the combo. And now Greed's Gambit makes a sacrifice. 
Tenacity and this card too, and we're just dead to the bats as well. That's too bad. Yeah, the counter spells are what made the difference. Otherwise, blow up a Greed's Gambit before they can gift it to me would have been pretty sweet. And that'll do it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hands not particularly inspiring. Double authority can be okay against aggro. Same with the Day of Judgment eventually. But we don't have any card draw whatsoever. Alright, this is a bit better. And then one tenacity can go. Alright, so we've got uh, two combo pieces we need. Opponent on a green deck, looks like elves. So Day of Judgment should be particularly effective. Still probably fetching a swamp first. Another visionary can draw. Put on the sides not to. So they've got a mana left for something else. Maybe a protection spell. Still gonna drop down the arena here. And then next turn we could Day of Judgments. And they're putting place a our Elves. And once again our opponent declines to completely tap out. So possible they have some indestructible trick in hand. We're about to find out. Alright, that worked out. So it could have been just a hexproof trick as well. Imperius Perfect is next. But now we can play a Conqueror. So that next turn we have a flyer that can hit them and with tenacity win the game. Alternatively, going authority plus tenacity would have been decent too. Because then if our opponent plays a creature, they can maybe set off the chain. But yeah, the mono green deck's not very well equipped to deal with this. Play tenacity, attack. Deal 5 damage, which gains 5 life, which deals 5 more damage, rinse and repeat. And that's game over. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a decent hand. Bit of card draw, some removal, one of our combo pieces facing an aggressive deck with Hired Claw. So probably kind of a Boros Charm burn deck. So a life gain would be appreciated. On the draw is never where you want to be in this type of matchup. But at least we've got some two mana answers at the ready. And get a swamp. And then I will want to take out Hired Claw before it gets a chance to attack and deal one more damage. Possible they have Boris Charm and they were debating making their creature indestructible. Ooh, nice. Union can uh, fight a burn deck quite nicely. I think that's the play over Iron Crank plus Tome. A Lightning Strike goes face. Yeah, this Union is basically worth two burn spells. And it also draws us a card. Challengers next. Alright, do we want to get lost or still Union? I guess we'll wait and see if they cast a pump spell. Otherwise, I think it's still worth it to Union just for mana efficiency. And then next turn I can go Iron Crank plus Get Lost, for instance. Alright, we've got our two combo pieces. So now I'm also tempted to just cast the Enduring Tenacity. And then land 5 with set up the kill. Or we can take a slower approach with Maze Mind Tome to eventually gain 4 and set off the chain as well. Yeah, maybe go Maze Mind Tome, keep up Get Lost. Since at 18 life we have a little bit of time to set up. 
another challenger, so now Day of Judgment is looking good. So maybe the play is draw with Tomb. And then maybe upkeep Scry. Alright, we've got a land drop for turn. Yeah, I guess I'll just take my draw step. That's cost me one life here. So now we could maybe see a Boros Charm make indestructible, but nope. So they may not have it. The fewer burn spells they have in hand, the less likely they are to remove the Conqueror, which can also just gain us a lot of life. Alright, now that we drew another copy, I'm fine running it out. And then we'll see if they can answer it. In the meantime, Maze Mind Tome will be ready to gain four life as well, so that can also kickstart the combo. And we can go Iron Crag plus Tenacity Keep Up Cutdown. So if Tenacity resolves, I can go to Attackers. If they try and remove Conqueror, I can gain for a response and still go infinite. And if damage happens, we also win the game. Alright. Deal 5 damage means we gain 5 life, which means we deal 5 damage, etc. Sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a decent hand. Got some good interaction. Union to gain more life. And then missing Enduring Tenacity to go with a Conqueror. Alright, there it is. Now we just need more mana, especially black mana. Demolition Field points towards a more controlling deck. Our draw steps so far have been perfect. And an Orobrask's Forge. Yeah, um, I think I still cast a Union here just to gain life while we can. There's an argument for holding it until after we get both combo pieces in play, although just attacking for 5 can also set off the chain. And naturally getting to line 5 would be nice. So we can play Tenacity, small chance our opponent can exile it with a Scorching Dragonfire. Or maybe a uh, Bargain Torch the Tower. But this potentially allows us to win the game next turn, so I think it's worth it. Demolition Field Courtyard. Might be Desperation Mode. Or perhaps our opponent's just missing white mana and they're on the Boros Tokens deck, also makes sense. So, not gonna block in case there's an Elspeth Smite, although that would also exile the Tenacity if we attack next turn, so that's kind of interesting. Found the land. Alright, so do we put our opponent on Elspeth Smite or not? They would probably want to activate Demolition Field regardless, just to get the white mana sorted. Could potentially play around Smite by just casting Conquer and then next turn attacking with a 5 toughness creature. But there's a lot that can go wrong in the meantime. So I think we just cross our fingers and hope they don't have it. Alright, and then we just win the game. So turn 5 kill. That's the fastest we can present the combo. I guess that's not true since we do have the one copy of Iron Crag, so we could technically assemble the combo on turn 4 already. And there we have it, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand seems functional. Maze Mind Tome will have to actively scry towards more lanes. And the duress is gonna have a look. Maze Mind Tome probably the most important card which they took. 
can play a back street now. And I'll keep a swamp on top, so lands are taken care of. Against the mid-range deck, it's going to be tricky for Conqueror to survive, so we would much rather play the card advantage game. But against an up the beanstalk, that's going to be tricky, so I may need to just get lost now before they draw more cards off of it. Because it does happen on cast, so if I let them on tap, they could have had the uh, Overlord already. Glissa, we can at least Day of Judgment, but that's going to hit us at least once now. Okay. So we're already a couple steps behind, having lost our card draw engine and our opponents getting to draw twice now in the meantime. But we do have quite a few card draw engines throughout the deck we can hope to find. And then we have an infinite combo, whereas our opponent doesn't. So just a one for one day of judgments. Opponent maybe had more creatures in hand, but didn't want to run them out. And now Fountain Port's also pretty good in these grindy matchups. Can sack the map tokens to draw. So this one's definitely not going our way. But there's always hope that they don't have answers for the Conqueror. Opponent may be missing a land drop. Drawing again with Fountain Port. But if they don't have lands in hand, they must have lots of removal. Found Enduring Tenacity, that's nice. I think Conqueror first still makes a little bit more sense since it can fly over any potential blockers. Plus our opponent knows about it, so they may not expect the Enduring Tenacity next turn. And a Shieldred is fine, but I imagine they still have removal. Yep, go for the throat. Okay, we'll run it back, or we can Day of Judgment first. I think I conquer first. Just try and sneak in a win while they might think the coast is clear. And technically, Conqueror can outrace Shieldreds. Okay, so... Opponent's keeping up interaction. Can still cast a Tenacity, or we can attack first. But if they somehow don't have it, this would win me the game, so I think we still have to go for it. Although it's going to be a little awkward if they remove Conqueror, and then Day of Judgment also removes the Enduring Tenacity. But yeah, their interactions just cut down, it's not gonna work. Opponent makes a treasure, that's fine. And wow, opponent takes five. And there we have it. So yeah, sometimes having a two-card combo can still beat drawing lots of extra cards. But still feels like we got pretty lucky here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a very controlling hand, lots of removal, but no card draw, which could be a bit of a concern. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll still try it. At least get lost can also deal with some enchantments, for instance, up against what looks like the aura deck. Can hang on to cut down, wait for them to enchant the hard fire, and then we still have plenty of other answers available in case they can protect it. It's gonna be a Manifold Mouse, okay. So in that case, probably just cut down Heartfire Hero. Could have also gone for Manifold Mouse itself. And then we just take one damage. But this seems okay. So yeah, pretty good hand to keep in this specific matchup. Although we don't have any of our combo pieces, so it's gonna take us a while to get there. Challenger is fine, so maybe we go for the Throat Manifold Mouse so they don't get a Valiant Trigger for free. And we just take two damage. 
Ah, they've got a hard fire hero as well. So, Bank Street versus Union. Probably gonna want a Day of Judgment next turn. So we can wait on Union, even though we're gonna have fewer cards in hand, perhaps. Sheltered by Ghosts is fine. Finds a Might of the Meek. Which they can cycle maybe on Heartfire Hero. So if I get lost now, I deny the card draw from Might. And I take less damage overall. I think it's still better to just keep double get lost as removal for later. Take the hit now. And then even at 7 life we should still be fine. And then I still have double get lost to answer their next creatures. And they must be running pretty low since this deck doesn't play a ton of them. Although, yeah, Manifold Mouse with Offspring is one of the better ones. So a Union. And gain a bunch. And then we can still get lost. Opponent is down to two cards in hand at least. And now Frex and Arena can draw more. Hoping they go for an aura that we get to blow out. Ah, cheeky house mouse. I have a response. Now they do get to use the map tokens to grow the token. But yeah, opponent's on empty. Alright, so as the dust settles, we'll have Frex and Arena and then Get Lost answers their mouse. Monstrous Rage, I guess, would have been lethal here. Dealing six more damage with Double Strike. Now we can also go for Enduring Tenacity. Although I think I need the extra cards more. We know what our opponent's top decking, so there's no need to get lost now. Sheltered by Ghosts. I'm kind of surprised they went for it, because they already had lethal in play with Double Strike. So that felt kind of unnecessary. So now Heartfire Hero can maybe grow and deal more damage on the way out. And the hope is that we find some more alive gain. Put in just finding some lands. Another Tenacity. Alright, so we've got to combo, play Conqueror, and then next turn we can attack and with Tenacity win the game. So we need to dodge another Sheltered by Ghost, pretty much. War Leader's Call. That's fine. Alright, so ended up being pretty close. But eventually the two card combo prevails. Awesome. Deal 5 damage, gain 5 life, rinse and repeat. And there we have it, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, hand seems fine. Good mix of interaction, card draw, and we already have one of our combo pieces. Probably fetching planes. Put on mono white, if it's kind of a tokens deck. That can be a tricky matchup if they get one of their card draw engines going quickly. Uh, Caretaker's Talent especially. And it's going to be an Evangelist, so still maybe tokens, but at least they don't have their card draw. And we'll scry. Cut down... A reasonable answer to the Evangelist would leave them with two tokens. And then Day of Judgment can eventually clean up. Or we could just uh, dig for land number four. Alright. I guess the upside of keeping cut down is that we could have drawn with Tome and cast cut down still. Yeah, I could maybe play Virtue on the Evangelist. 
keep the instant speed removal for later. And then still gonna scry with Tomb to hit our line drops. Phantom ports also good in these grindier main trips. And an Overlord's next. Alright, so Day of Judgment's looking great if we can get to 4 mana. Union would gain a lot of life. But uh, let's just dig for land instead. Alright, that'll do it. Probably still going for a swamp here since we'll need double black more than double white. So board is clear. And then Tome is close to gaining four life as well. Maybe next turn we can play Tenacity and then Tome threatens to also deal four damage. Beza not doing anything, just a 4-5, don't see that very often. So thank Caves of Koilos for making us lose one life. And then I think still take a draw step. Backstreet's good. So we're looking for Conqueror. Planes can go. And then, yeah, can play Enduring Tenacity. Or can play Tome, planning to draw with it. I'll play the Tenacity. We need it in play for the combo. And then now if I were to draw Conqueror, Tome can set off the chain. Part of me wants to block just so Tenacity cannot get exiled by Sunfall. But if I block, then they can blow up Tenacity as an enchantment with Get Lost. So I'll still take it. If they want a Sunfall, we have a backup Tenacity, so it's not a disaster. And now we can maybe deal some damage ourselves. Next turn, the Overlord's going to show up as well. And Authority is not bad. Okay, so how about attack for four? Maybe start with authority, see if they have a response. Okay. Playing a second tenacity into a sunfall seems like a bad idea. So I'll just play tomb. And then attacking could potentially work out poorly if there's an Elspeth smite in our future, but I'll still try it. Opponent just activates Fountain Port, so they might have wanted to activate that before Authority entered. And then, do we take the hit from Base Hour? Do we go for the Throat? Can probably still take the hit. Alright, Overlord shows up. That one ignores authority since it's already on the battlefield. Take my turn and then... Don't think I need to scry. Alright, so now go for the throat and answer to the overlord. Find another authority. Still probably okay playing that one. And then I'll clear our Overlord so we can hit for four. And then we're getting close to the point where playing a second Tenacity with Tome gaining life can immediately win us the game. That right, point is going to get lost of Tenacity, that's fine. So now we don't have to worry about Sunfall as much. So Conqueror would still be a great draw. Is their opponent going to get lost a second time? They're maybe considering it. But they decide to wait. Take five. Take my turn. 
See what we draw. And get lost. A little bit short of casting that, plus tenacity. So do we just go for the creature here? Yeah, I think that's fine. If they make a fish, we gain life of authority, so we're not necessarily in danger of dying. Plus we can always gain four. And then if I were to use my map token, we're probably going to see another get lost on the creature. But actually, don't hate that, because that means a conqueror is more likely to stick the landing. Yep. And then with double tome, we actually just win the game next turn. Since that's 16 damage. Take our draw. Another tenacity, why not? Play it. And then can draw. And that's 12 damage. And we'll maybe scry here to do it all over again. Yeah, our opponent was maybe hesitant to play out more creatures because of the authority of the consoles. Because they must have some more token makers in hand. Since if they're stuck on four lands, maybe they've got a few copies of Sunfall, but everything else has to be either interaction or token makers. And we get to rank up. Awesome. So yeah, sometimes we can still get there without a combo, just tenacity plus some life gain. The uh, controlling game plan seems to work out pretty well, since it allows us to keep up with the aggressive decks, thanks to all the interaction, but also potentially outgrind other mid-range and control strategies just by drawing enough cards, and then sooner or later we're going to either stumble into the combo or figure out another way to win the game. So yeah, pretty happy with where this deck ended up. There are still a lot of ways to configure this deck. You could also try more aggressive approaches like black-white bats with a combo integrated, but I've been happy with this more controlling approach just because it tends to play longer games, which gives you more time to assemble the combo in the first place, and that way you're also not necessarily called to the first sweeper the opponent plays. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.